There are many different ways to do meditation. There are thousands of different ways. And um, one of the most important things about meditation is, uh, you might say that the purpose is to, is to get present, to be in the present moment. Some people use marijuana and drugs to accomplish that. Um, when you get high, you, f you feel like you are present in the moment and you get rid of your inhibitions and um, maybe those inhibitions are related to your past. But um, with meditation, there is no, um, uh, in, the, in the next morning, there is no hangover. Um, on on the other hand, the hangover is a actually a, a good thing. It's a it's a remnant, the the good effect of the meditation. Usually, um, teachers will recommend that you meditate twice a day, once in the morning, uh, before beginning your day, and once um, in the evening after work. Usually, uh, ten minutes for each session. So begin the meditation by taking a few deep breaths. Um, for example, count to 10 during the inhale, hold for 10 seconds, and then the exhale is also 10 seconds. There are many different ways to do breathing, and that's just one of them. So beginning with, with breathing. Close your eyes, sit in a chair with your back straight. <clears throat> Keep doing deep breathing. This meditation is called Fashioning a Body of Light. It's from the book by Pir Vilayat Inayat Khan. The book is called Awakening, a Sufi Experience. It has hundreds of meditations. So in the next eight minutes or so, we're gonna do this meditation. Concentrating on the physical light in the surrounding environment is a wonderful introduction to light practices. So this is using light, the uh, imagining light during meditation. Keep doing the deep breathing and when sitting in meditation, begin by closing your eyes then imagine that you are staring into a light that floods your whole being with brightness. Instead of shielding your eyes, enjoy being blinded by this blaze, as well as the ecstasy of communion that this concentration stirs. Somehow this light triggers off memories of having been a being of pure light prior to your current incarnation into your current body. Um, no matter what you believe, uh, as far as reincarnation, basically before birth we were something else and after death we don't completely die, the soul lives on. Light stirs a recollection deep in your unconscious of moving about in a world of light, of being only light, before that formless luminosity condensed into a physical body. Basically that before taking on this body, coming into this world, we were light. Rhythm rhythmically coordinate your breath with absorbing and radiating light from the surrounding environment. Begin with the inhalation. Feel as if every pore in your body is sensitive to the light penetrating the very cells of the body. Just as when you are sunbathing, for example, you feel totally receptive to the sunlight flooding your body with the warm magnetism of the sun's radiation. You could picture yourself outside beneath the l night sky, for example, breathing in the light of the stars of far distant galleries. Our bodies have the capacity to absorb this gift of light of the universe. 
Next, holding the breath be between inhaling and exhaling, draw your attention to the effervescence lighting up the cells of your body in a dance of joy and delight. Then begin to sparkle in communication with each other, as though exulting in the ecstasy of illumination. From the perspective of physics, what happens is that the electrons of your body cells are using the energy of light because light is energy. The electrons of our body cells are using the energy of light to free themselves from the constraint of their orbitals. Thus, it seems that even the cells of your body have a nostalgia for freedom, the feeling of liberation that results from enlightenment. This is Jalaluddin Rumi's Dance of the Atoms, as well as Shiva's Cosmic Dance. It is an ecstatic experience of the physical phenomena of light energizing the fabric of your body. So keep doing deep inhalation and uh, relax your body more and more, but keep the back erect. On the exhalation, the electrons of the cells fall back into place. What remains of this dance is a glow emanating from the body. As you exhale light on the current of the breath, become conscious of radiating light outward. The more conscious you are of radiating light from yourself, the more light you radiate. Photons of light travel through space at a speed of 186,000 miles per second. This means the light you radiate reaches the stars. So the more conscious you are of radiating light, the more light you will radiate. The light you radiate reaches the stars. According to physics, light is matter. The luminosity you exhale on the breath extends into space, commingling with the stars. Such an experience shatters your earthly perspective as you realize that the light of your aura is the light of the stars which when you observed it, you thought you, you, you thought was different from you. Indeed, your aura is just this light that has converged into a vortex, a whirlpool of light. In fact, as you continue with this concentration, inhaling, holding the breath, then exhaling light on the breath, you can feel the aura of light surrounding your body ebb and flow. As you exhale, feel your aura as it converges and contracts like a cosmic whirlpool in which the swirling waters of starlight accumulate toward the axis. Then holding your breath, turn your focus deeper and deeper within, entering the void at the center of this vortex where like the spring head at the underground source of a lake, there is a fountain of renewal, re-energizing the cells of your body. Thus, not, not, only, not only is your aura impacted by the convergence of the light of the stars, but by an inner luminosity as well, like the white holes in the space that give birth to new stars. This way, you are not just reflecting back the light of the stars, but sending out to the cosmos a new light contributing to the light, recycling the li light of the universe. Continue this concentration on the, on the exhalation. Radiate that light through the aura back and back out again into the surrounding environment, imagining a scintillating interplay of rainbow colors extending out into the vast reaches of the cosmos, a star among stars. So continue to do the inhale, deep inhale, deep exhale, and in the middle holding a little bit. As you exhale, you're exhaling light and you feel the light in your aura and connect that light to the light in the universe, that you are part of the light of the stars and the sun and the moon and you are yourself a star among stars so at the end open your eyes slowly take two minutes to open your eyes never uh, get out of the meditation too fast